Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Mask Monday. I'm here with my sister, Melissa, from Georgia. Hi. And today we're going to be answering some questions and uh, doing our review of our mask. And I am wearing today the Honey Jarrett. And this is the Super Beauty Mask. And it's the Lemon Honey. So it's very thick. And so yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. And I am wearing from Face Tory Everyday Jasmine. Ooh, very nice very nice so if this is your first time here we do this every mask monday um either i'm going to be by myself or i'll have my sister with me um and we'll do a review of our mask at the end and we've kind of had these on for a little bit but we are going to go run through some questions real quick and it's just some questions that i found online and let me get my glasses so i can see <laughs> okay so the very first question and i'll let melissa answer all of these first is what's your favorite candle scent um well now that i have started um making candles i would say my favorite scent is the april fresh downy mixed mm -hmm. with clean pot that smells. that smells fresh and clean. Yeah. Okay. I love it. So how many of those have you made? Um, well, I haven't made any in the candle. Um, I've just made them in the wax melts. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I've made several of them and I actually, I'm burning one right now and it smells mm -hmm. really good. I need the aromas. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, um, really, I have a variety of scents that I like, but I, I tend to gravitate more towards the sweets and um, foody kind of scents, like the cookie doughs, the pound cakes. Um, so when it walks, it, someone walks in my house, they're like, what are you cooking or what are you baking? And it's nothing, y'all. It's a candle. That's, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but then I do like the ones that kind of smell like a perfume smell, um, that kind of stuff as well. So I like all kinds of candle scents. So, yeah. Okay. The next question is, what female celebrity do you wish was your sister, y'all? <laughs> I'm her sister, so she's like, um, somebody really good. <laughs> Well, I would say if I would have to pick a, cele a female celebrity that I wish was my sister, um, I would probably say Gabrielle Union. Mm -hmm. I really like Gabrielle. Um, I've watched pretty much everything that she's been in from Bring It On to Being Mary Jane. Um, so yes, I, I really would, if, if I had a choice that, that definitely would be the one female celebrity that I would pick. She's got a new movie out. I just watched it not too long ago with the uh, cheaper by the dozen or whatever. It was pretty good. Pretty good. It was on Disney, I think. Disney plus maybe. Yeah, I think it was. It was pretty good. And if I was to select a female celebrity, I'm going to just go for the money, y'all. I'm going to say Beyonce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only because she has, she's a very uh, good entrepreneur. Um, and from what I know about Beyonce, a very good business person. Um, She's probably a multi-millionaire. Is it? <laughs> um, she's rich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I would have to say Beyonce. 
the next question is, do you know a hoarder? <laughs> per se, I I'm um, going to have the same answer for this one. <laughs> per se, no. <laughs> you said I, no. I don't know any hoarders. You, you said no for real. You said no. <laughs> you don't know not one person. I'm going to take you to your mama house. Ah. Well, I she mean, a hoarder. she's not a hoarder, hoarder. No. But she got a lot of stuff, y'all. She got a lot of stuff. Yeah, because a hoarder is like a house that you can't move through. That's so, true. That's true. I don't know anybody like that. Now, people that overly buy stuff just to say they have it. Yes, I know people like that. Yes. yes. Um, Agreed. But yeah, like I, said, I don't really know no hoarders either, y'all. <laughs> I've seen the TV show. <laughs> the next question is, can you do the splits? <laughs> hey, back when I was in high school. <laughs> now, because no. you were on what team? The Palms. We were both on Palms, yes. Um, and back then in the day, I could also do the splits. Yeah. There's nothing going on like that now. Not. <laughs> not one. Um, the next question is. How many oceans have you swam in? <laughs> we probably got the same answer. <laughs> Well, I can oh, wait, wait. say that I have stood in the ocean. I've never swam in the ocean. And that's only because the fish and the steam rays <laughs> and she learns the fish y'all. Ever else is in the ocean that I I just can't be around. Um, but I have put my feet in the ocean, so I'm sure that doesn't count because it says swim. I've never swam in the ocean. We got the same answer because I never swam in the ocean either. <laughs> fact, I'm not allergic to fish, and I don't know if the allergicness that she has is if, if a fish touch you, would you still break out? I don't know. We ain't going to try to find out. You got an epipen? Uh -huh. Do you even have an epipen? No. Oh, no. We ain't going to find out. <laughs> so, no, I'm not swimming in an ocean. Um, I will probably put my feet in the water as well, but y'all, yeah, those sharks. Yes. They be posting like shark don't go out in the water and you still go out in the water. Yeah. I'm just saying they got big teeth, y'all. I ain't trying to do it. I ain't, I ain't trying to lose a limb. They try to take your whole body. Yeah. <laughs> for them. I'm just saying. I ain't got it like that. I ain't got no extra limbs. Exactly. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> okay, so this one might be the same answer as well. How many countries have you been to? Um. So, I don't. So, countries out of the U.S. So we've been to two. Hold on. <laughs> We went to Japan and we went to Italy. Sorry, I mean, you ain't never been on a cruise nowhere. I will. I want to cruise to the Bahamas, but the Bahamas is not. Is that considered out of the country? Because it's not. Okay. No, I've never been to Mexico. So we've been to two, and we live in one. So okay. Um. I feel like that was a trick question. Because <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute, because the Bahamas, you can get to the Bahamas off of Miami. So I don't think that's out the country. I mean, it's out of our country. Too. Well, I mean, it's, it's not connected to the U.S., so. I think the audience would say that you're going to get a pass. I don't know what it is about Melissa. Y'all seem to love Melissa. <laughs> 
know these people in these comments be like, leave her alone. She know this. She know this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair that you don't give her all the stuff beforehand. It's not fair that you don't tell her that you could have gotten something for your daughter. <laughs> Leave Melissa alone. <laughs> Let me get my snap to get. Leave Melissa alone. <laughs> okay. Hey. What's the worst grade you got on a test? Uh, an F. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I've ever gotten an F on. But was it an F or did you get something that was like? Didn't you get like something wasn't turned in or something? Was it? Is that like an F or incomplete? Well, no, it's considered an F because she didn't give me my points because I turned in the wrong thing. So mm -hmm. out of 100 points, I think she probably gave me like a 0 0.5. <laughs> that would like, be considered an F, y'all. Girl, it's like an F plus. It's um, a, it's, girl, you don't even get the plus. I it's know. Like, I'm surprised she gave you anything. You turned in the wrong assignment. How could it even be close to the right assignment? It was the wrong assignment. Anyway, yeah. I think my lowest grade probably would have been a D, maybe. I don't even know if I would have even gotten a D. Because I just try hard, y'all. Especially when I was in college, I wanted to get A's and, you know, graduate with some tassels, ropes, and exactly. all that. Um, but, yeah, so I tried, y'all. I mean... I did. So I think that was probably my last. My worst grade probably was a D, maybe, and that was probably in high school with a math teacher that didn't want to help nobody. But anyway, mm. neither here nor there. Just that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take these off. Um, we've been, um, I know mine has been on for quite some time. Mm. And I love this mask. It is a very thick quality of like paper. So it's it's durable, y'all. It's very durable. Yeah. Very durable. Love these masks. It's definitely hydrating. Yeah. And let's see what it was supposed to do. Let me get my glasses back on. Um, it says it is selected premium tea and lemon and honey extract and it contains a purifying firming effects which lets the skin stay moisturized and rejuvenated so i don't know about the um, firming but i guess that may come later after it kind of dries down a little bit but what do you think melissa what about yours mine was pretty good i mean it feels really good on my skin um I definitely have some hydration up in there, so not bad at all. My face doesn't feel dry, so I definitely would love to try another one of these. Okay, everyone, that's all we have for this Mask Monday. Thank you so much for spending some time with us again, and we're going to see you all on our next Mask Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.